Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next circuit, we have uh, another three-phase circuit, only this time we are going to solve it as a Y, not a delta. And we have the same Y circuit as in the last video, only this time we added another parallel uh, Y load to it. Um, and the parallel load that we're adding to this has a um, a an impedance that's conjugate to the, the original load. And the problem is asking us to find the magnitude of the line current um, from the source. So, as always, pause the video, uh, take a crack at it, and um, we'll go over it in a bit. Okay, to go ahead and solve this, um, you might have guessed that we will combine Z1 and Z2 in parallel. Uh, so we'll do just that, and we'll just call it Z. So Z is equal to Z1 in parallel with Z2. And then we can do the, the product over some rule. So Z1, Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. And when we plug in those numbers, um, we actually... Uh, cancel out all imaginary numbers and end up with simply 7.07. .07. And so what that means is that um, these impedances act as just strictly uh, a resistive circuit. And to find the, the line current, uh, recall that for a Y-connected system, I line is equal to I phase. Right, and we need to find I phase, right? So I phase is equal to E phase, um, which is the, the voltage. Um, some people use the, the V notation. Um, I usually switch off between E and V. Uh, I used to be an electrician and we always used E, so that's what I'm mostly used to. Uh, but we can change that to V because most people are used to seeing it with a V. Okay, so V phase divided by this is Z here. And for a Y circuit, um, to get the, the phase voltage, it's actually the line voltage divided by the square root of 3. So that would be 173 divided by the square root of 3 divided by this z, which is 7.07. .07. And when we do that, we get 14.1 amps. And since I line and I phase are the same, I line is equal to also 14.1 amps. And that's what I got. Did you guys get the same answer? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and until then, enjoy engineering. 